Hey guys, it's Nick from this here, with my first Dead by Daylight video of 2024. I hope you're enjoying the new year so far. Today I have a big chapter to talk about. I don't even think this is a matter of could this happen, but a matter of when will this happen. The Walking Dead. The show was a massive phenomenon of the 2010s and helped bring the zombie genre to the height it's at today. It's amazing to me that we still don't have a Walking Dead chapter or paragraph in Dead by Daylight yet. But to be fair, they did just add Chucky and Alien in 2023, which were also two huge licenses we've been anticipating. In my opinion, TWD is one of the last big licenses behavior needs to nab to make this a perfect game. Whether you're a fan of the franchise or not, you have to admit it's had quite the impact. Fortnite and Tekken have both had crossovers with Walking Dead, and I think it's about time Dead by Daylight had its turn, as it's easily the most fitting game for these characters. While the main show ended a few years ago, there's still lots of spin-off shows being pumped out, like the Daryl Dixon one, and the upcoming Michonne and Rick show in February. This is the perfect time to make this happen. I've seen quite a bit of fan demand for this chapter, it being one of the highest voted licenses in the player survey. And I have to say, in my opinion, it makes much more sense and would be a better fit than Five Nights at Freddy's and other licenses I've seen fans request. The most interesting thing about this situation to me is back in September 2021, Norman Reedus, the actor who plays Daryl Dixon, posted this out of context picture on Instagram of his character with the Huntress mask on, and the official Dead by Daylight page even liked the post as a cherry on top. Obviously nothing has come of this so far, but I like to think this was Norman's way of saying he's interested in playing Daryl in Dead by Daylight if they ever decide to make this chapter happen. Now, how would a Walking Dead chapter look in-game? Well, I can see it happening two different ways. The first option is Behavior makes this a killerless chapter with three survivors to compensate for no killer, being Rick, Michonne, and Daryl. We could get a new map, possibly Herschel's farm or the prison. I feel like these three characters are the most likely as they are all popular and iconic characters from The Walking Dead and these are even the characters Fortnite went with. But I'd be open to seeing other characters such as Glenn and Maggie too. Rick could have some good leadership based perks similar to Dwight and I feel like Daryl or Michonne should have some kind of perk to fight back and stun the killer as they aren't the kind of characters to run away in fear. Stealth perks would be fitting too, since they have to sneak around the walkers lots, maybe covering themselves in walker guts and hiding their aura from the killer for a short period of time. We definitely need a map for this collab, as The Walking Dead has so many iconic locations that would work perfectly for this game. The other option is that we do get a killer with two survivors, any of the characters I mentioned earlier, and a map. Rick is the obvious choice no matter what, as for the killer, the best picks in my opinion are Negan or the Governor. Walkers understandably come to mind, but would be hard to implement, only if Behavior could figure out a cool mechanic to make them work, such as being a horde of them that survivors can fight back against, as one walker on their own isn't a huge threat in the grand scheme and would be a pretty lame killer. Realistically though, I think Negan would be the top pick, as he is a fan favorite villain, very memorable, and has the perfect weapon for this game in the form of Lucille. If they can get Jeffrey Dean Morgan to reprise the role and give Negan some voice lines, it would be hilarious and perfect, and Negan would be my new main in a heartbeat. Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent! I'm not sure what his power could be, but I have faith that behavior would cook something epic up for him. Maybe a bloodlust power where he can one-shot survivors temporarily. Or maybe even something similar to Nemesis, where there will just be walkers spread out across the map that Negan can use to his advantage. Who knows? His Mori is easy, and it would have to be eeny meeny miny mo. If you know, you know. I feel like everybody knows that spoiler, but I'm gonna be that guy and just not say it in case. Negan was a blast to play in Tekken, and I have no doubt the same would apply here. No matter how Dead by Daylight decides to implement The Walking Dead, it'll be a great chapter that I'm very excited for, and I sure hope it happens sooner rather than later. 
Haven't we waited long enough? What are your thoughts on this long overdue crossover? And which Walking Dead character would you want in the game most? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more Dead by Daylight content. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nick from us, see you later.